Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back. Now, you may have noticed that some websites in Florida, Utah, and Dallas, and Texas have become unavailable as of late, and that's because of some legislations here and there. So if you're in a situation where you wanna get access to content that is not available to you, all you really have to do is connect to a VPN and you'll be good to go. Now, the way this works is you just need to download and install a VPN. Now, I have three VPNs here to suggest and they essentially cater to 99% of the VPN user base. And I'll show you how this works. Now, you can use the links below if you'd like to make use of the discounts and save some more money. But essentially, once you've downloaded and installed one of these VPNs, all you have to do is just go to locations and pick the right server. So let me just demonstrate very quickly. As you can tell right here, it said that I'm in Illinois, Chicago, just because I was connected to the Chicago server. But but let's just say I'm in Dallas, I'm in Utah, I'm in any other state, let's say, where the content that I'm looking for is not available. All I have to do is switch to a state that gives me that access. So let's just say Phoenix and I'll connect. And that is essentially it. So if I refresh my IP finder and you can use any IP finder here, it'll say that I am indeed in Phoenix, Arizona instead of wherever I was. And this is how I can get access access to content. So let's say I'm abroad and I want to access Hulu or American Netflix. This is how I can do it. And it's as simple as that. Now, as far as which VPN to choose, it really depends on what you're looking for. If you want to learn more about them, you'll find reviews down below. But just to give you a quick brief, ExpressVPN will be the best if you're looking for the easiest to use and most reliable uh, and consistent. I found myself spending less time, the least amount of time operating a VPN when on Express as opposed to all other VPNs that may require me to just do a little bit more navigation or turning on and off some features here and there. With ExpressVPN, honestly, it gets me up and running as quickly as possible. And that's exactly why I prefer ExpressVPN. Now you'll be able to secure up to eight devices per subscription. So plenty of devices and plenty of room to share your account if you'd like to share it with other people, or if you have a lot of devices and you have a lot of states available here in 105 countries, of course. Now, if you're looking for something that's a little bit more, let's say reasonably priced, even though ExpressVPN is still cheaper than a Starbucks latte, if you're still looking for something that maybe is more well-rounded, it offers more bonus features for a very reasonable price while maintaining very high levels of speed and security. In fact, NordVPN is the fastest VPN to date as far as we know. Uh, and so, yeah, this is definitely a great option if you prioritize things like that. Not only is it the fastest VPN, but you also have the biggest number of countries at 111 countries, more than any other VPN, seconded by ExpressVPN at 105 and then followed up by Surfshark at 100 countries. And Surfshark is definitely going to be the biggest bang for the buck because you have 100 countries again, you'll be able to secure up to an unlimited number of devices with just a single subscription. And it is hands down the best bang for the buck since you would be getting a full cybersecurity package, including a fully fledged antivirus and identity protection features, as well as the VPN, all under the premium package of Surfshark, which is called the Surfshark One one plan, which is still, by the way, cheaper than the standard plan of NordVPN, which is a huge bang for the buck considering what you're getting with Surfshark here. So if that's what you're looking for, then this is the best budget VPN that you can get, Surfshark. The best well-rounded VPN is Nord, which is also the fastest and has the biggest list of countries. And ExpressVPN will be the best overall VPN, especially if you're looking for something that's incredibly easy to use and very consistent and reliable no matter what you're doing. Now, if you end up getting any of them, I did ask ExpressVPN out of curiosity. And they mentioned that a lot of people end up spending more money on the monthly plan with the higher rate than going with the yearly plan with the very clearly much lower rate especially if you use the link below. And that's because most people think they're going to need the VPN for just a month and they use it for longer and it keeps resubscribing to this very expensive rate. So unless you know you need the VPN for just a month, you probably want to go for something that saves you a whole lot more in the long term, especially the 12 month plan that gives you an extra discount using the link below. And either way, there is a 30 day money back guarantee in case you want to go back to just a month at a time plan or vice versa. So that'll be it for this video. Comment below if you have any questions. I'll be happy to answer all 
all of them. Like and subscribe if you'd like to support the channel and stay up to date with everything VPNs and cybersecurity. Thank you guys very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Have a wonderful day.